Hi everyone, welcome to AI Product Builders. So Kohe released a new model called Command R. In this video, we are going to build a powerful rack chatbot using Kohe's new Command R LLM. Command R is a scalable language model optimized for rack and tool usage. The best part of Command R is that we don't have to use any additional embed models or vector databases to build rag based applications. It incorporates rag into LLMs. It seamlessly integrates with Kohe's embed and re rank models to deliver best in class rag capabilities. Command R outputs include clear citations, mitigating the risk of hallucinations, and enabling users to easily access additional context from source materials. Let's have a quick look into Command R capabilities. Command R is a language model optimized for conversational interaction and long context tasks. So it has context of 128 tokens and maximum tokens output is 4096 and the endpoint we'll be using today is chat here are some capabilities of command r model it has multilingual capabilities the model is optimized to perform well in different languages apparently it has 13 languages and it has built-in drag capabilities the r has been trained with the ability to ground its generation and that means it can generate responses based on list of documents you provide and it will include citations for you in its response indicating the source of the information and let's also look into retrieval augmented generation of command r uh, the core idea of providing relevant documents or context to a language model can greatly increase the factual accuracy and groundness of the generated text so this rag workflow typically involves three main steps. First, it generates search queries, then can retrieve relevant documents for the given input or question. And then it fetches the relevant documents from the specified data source using the generated search queries. And then we generate a final response augmented with the retrieved documents. And um, rack systems can automatically suggest useful search queries, fetch and rank relevant documents, and then condition the language model generation on those documents and one more interesting thing i want to mention within this capability is that connectors um so the document also mentioned connectors which allow automating the multi-step rack workflow by specifying a connector so example is web search to handle the document retrieval. now let's quickly look into how the application looks like so i basically ingested two documents generative ai interview prep and generative ai development process the first document contains a lot of interview questions asked in generative ai the second document contains a development process of generative ai which I've written by myself and I enter a query, what is RAC? So, so the answer to this question is basically in the second document and the LLM generated the answer, what is RAG and including citations, which is really cool. So it exactly retrieved the source and the step in the document, you know, integrating external data into the generation process from document step one, defining objectives and scope. And that's where I've written about RAG in the document. And that's what is exactly retrieved. This is the best part of Kohe's command R. Basically, it incorporates RAG into LLMs, especially within question and answering frameworks. It seamlessly integrates with Kohe's embed and re models to deliver best in class rack capabilities so that you don't have to do anything additional or use any additional embedding models or vector databases for you to run such kind of rack capabilities and now let's quickly look into how can we build this so before start, before even jumping into the code i want to show how you can get your api key so if you don't have an account with Kohei, please create an account with Kohei and you land up on Kohei's dashboard. Once you land up here, there's something called API keys and try getting your trial key here. Just click on trial key and mention this, uh, the name and just copy. If you're building a production based application, you can get your production key over here. And there's very detailed explanation on billing and usage. So that's how you can get your API key. Once you have an API key, let's start building. Now let's have a quick look into the code, right? First, we have to start by importing certain libraries, Streamlit. We'll be using Streamlit for the web interface. We'll be using Kohair to use the command R model. So just say pip install Streamlit and Kohair. Once you installed all the libraries, you have to export your Kohair API key. Just paste your API key over here. And that's it. Your API key setup is done. So we'll start by importing the libraries. Streamlit is used for creating web app interface using Python and Kohair we are using to access Kohair's API. That's it. 
and will uh, so here we are basically retrieving the cohere api key stored in an environment variable which you just performed right now and then we start by initializing the cohere api client i'm also putting a small error message over here i'm just saying that if api is found it initializes the cohere client by passing the api key making it ready for the api request so first you set up your api key and then you have to initialize with the cohere client we'll start by defining the main function which is generate rag response with citations it basically takes two parameters that is query which is the user's query and the documents a lot list of documents that the user will be uploading and then what we do is it formats the documents for the cohere api sends the request to cohere chat endpoint using the command r model and the message being the user query with the rack capabilities that is nothing but document and and extract the responses text and citation from cohere's response and then we generate a response text including citation and then we'll start with the streamlit ui this is a very simple ui so i start by setting up a title the title is nothing but drag with citations command r in streamlit to set up a title we use st.title rag with citations command r and then i'm providing two input fields for the user so one input field is where they drag and drop their files and the other input field is to enter their query regarding the documents so in streamlit we use st.file uploader to up upload documents and you know to provide and to provide a text area we use st.text area in streamlit and we are mentioning that enter your query and the next step is to set up this button called get answer and we start by you know button press check so the line checks if the get answer button is clicked by the users streamly reruns the script from the top whenever a user interacts with the ui but this can this condition also ensure that the code inside this block runs only when specific button is pressed so if we, we start with a simple validation check we check whether if the user has entered their key query if the user has not entered the query we display a message saying that please enter a query to proceed if the user has not uploaded files we ask them to please upload at least one document but if both query is provided and documents are uploaded it proceeds to read the content of each uploaded file the line document file dot get value dot decode it iterates over each uploaded file reads the document decodes it to a string and collects these strings into a list of name document and then we generate response and citation with the user query and list of document it calls the function what we have written here generate drag response with citations and this function is designed to generate a response to the user query by considering the content uploaded and finally we display citation if there are any citations in the response it iterates over each citation so we perform a simple iteration over each citation so each citation includes a cited text and the document id this is facilitated by the assumption that the documents id are always in the format of docx where x is the index of the document in the uploaded files list that's it so that's basically how we want to display the citation i have to if i have to sum up the entire code first we start by setting up our api key and then we start by initializing the api key and do some small validation check if the api keys are actually retrieved and then we basically write a very simple function that is generating rag response with citation using the cohes at endpoint we using the model commander and the message query within the for the rag capabilities and we generate text and citation so we perform a validation check if your user entered their user query and uploaded files if the user has entered the files and entered the user query uh, and then we decode the document into strings with list of documents and then we displayed the final answer using st.write so once you are done writing the code let's check let's run the code streamlit run app.py open in browser and this is how the application looks like uploading some text files over here and you can ask any question related to the text file i'll just say for example what is rag so the information of the rag contains in my second document and that's what it will generate with regards to citations 
you see RAG is an approach to enhance capabilities of large language models by incorporating external real-time data. And the citation just goes like this. It basically retrieved from step one, defining objectives and scope, and that's where I've defined everything about RAG. So the best part of Commander is that Boher incorporates RAG into LLMs, especially within question and answering frameworks. It seamlessly integrates with the existing Cohere embed and re-rank models to deliver best in-class RAG capabilities. The best part is it includes clear citations mitigating the risk of hallucination. So I, qu I quickly want to share one more capability of Cohere's command R RAG capabilities. There's something called connectors. So the chat API offers a one-line solution using RAG using connectors. What is connectors? As the name implies, connectors are ways of connecting to different sources that enables you to combine Cohes language models, which powers with the chat API endpoint, which we have currently used with data sources such as internal documents, document databases, and the broader internet. So as you see here, our code that chat endpoint can communicate. We can do the web search or, you know, ingest the data from an external database just using the Cohes command R. All you have to do is enter a new argument, which is nothing but connector. So in my use case, what I'll do is I'll just replace the document over here and I'll use an argument called connector instead of document. Let's do that. Let's quickly replace this code and just use connector instead of document. So that is a very minor change which I've done in my code. I just replaced the document argument with connectors and my connector I would be using here is web search and the parameter here within the function generate rag response with citation is just the user query. The user will just enter a query and the LLM will do a web search using a connector and then provide such a response with list of citation. That's it. Now just run the app and check. That's it. Let's for example say who is Bill Gates. Here's a full answer on who is Bill Gates and with list of citations if you like this tutorial please consider giving it a like share and subscribe um, and i'll see you in the next tutorial thank you